probably with the shooting in the jewelry store. We had that one place I knew about, the beauty salon place. We did have another armed robbery, robbery of a place down Manhattan Avenue, more towards like Clay Street, that area. All in a very short time frame. Yeah. Um, I think there was about eight places there with a couple of weeks of each other. Okay. Um, I know the jewelry store guy, uh, he we were almost positive he was involved in any of the others. No, 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 it wasn't them. Actually, it was pretty much the same kind of group that was doing it. And on um, last Saturday night, there was three guys all dressed in black, head to toe. They had a backpack on the front and the back, and they were checking out the buildings on my side until they got spotted, and they all got split. So. All right. Now I'm gonna have to look at some of these. Uh, someone whispered, whispered in my ear that liquor store might have arrested the guy. But Sean and Steve have been on it. And yeah. they, they were on a couple of the cases okay. that have been on the run. Just, you know, You'll see in the daytime uh, school guys spend a lot of time on Nassau and Bedford at that corner in Manhattan Avenue with bus uh, the train stations off. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll watching them. Yeah, you know, but it was like 10 at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. It wasn't during okay. school time. That's the thing. And I got to tell you, I went to Joe Lentil's office. He wasn't aware of any of the robberies, okay. which kind of ticked me off. Him being the assemblyman, he shouldn't be given a heads up. Okay. Thank you. 
know. I know we've done a lot of work with vendors over the last year. I've been here. Um, we'll look into it again. Uh, I, I would appreciate it. It's just, you know, the apathy on the issue. And in the scheme of things, when you're looking at standings, 